Hey, this is Casey Gray from The Conscious Builder, and today we are going to show you how to build an axe throwing target. So the footage you are about to see is actually from something we built last year for a company party that we had here at my home. And we figured since we are all at home, this would be a good time to share this. Obviously, if you're in an apartment, chances are you're not gonna be building an ax throwing target. Um, but if you do have space, we recommend about 12 feet you know, from the line to where the target is going to be and preferably you know, over grass because you don't want your ax to be landing on a concrete or asphalt or stone surface. So depending on your level of experience and skills with regards to using tools and so forth, uh, you're probably gonna need about an hour and a half to three hours to build this and get it all set up and ready to go. First, you're gonna need three two by 10 by eight feet. You're gonna need three two by six by eight feet, three two by four by eight feet, a sheet of OSB or plywood, either one will work, inch and three quarter screws, wood screws, three inch wood screws or nails. I was kind of just using whatever I had around my garage. Um, I seem to have more stuff around my garage for obvious reasons than some other people might have. I also use flat stock aluminum for a template to create the target, but you could also use cardboard or anything else that you can shape into a template to paint your target. Um, also for spray paint, you'll need green, blue, red, and black. It doesn't have to be spray paint, it could just be regular paint. Once again, it doesn't even have to be those colors. As long as you have four different colors, you can use that. And then for tools, you'll need a drill, hammer, and your circular saw or hand saw or chop saw, whatever you have to cut the wood. Um, I use a circular saw, it was easy to do. Um, not everyone has these tools, I get it, uh, but you will need to cut something or you will need something to cut the wood. First, you're going to take your three eight foot two by tens and cut them in half. You will lay out five across, so side by side, and one across the top of those five. Then you'll lay out the OSB or plywood on top and square everything, square everything off. Cut that OSB or plywood to the same size as your two by tens being put together. And then you're going to attach that to your two by tens. And I screwed it around the perimeter of the two by tens to avoid putting the screw where the ax might hit. So obviously we're throwing axes at wood here. And if there's screws within that and the ax hit it, hits it, you might gouge the ax or dull it or whatever it may be. Next, you're going to locate the center of the vertical boards by drawing two lines from opposite diagonal. So basically corner to quarter across the wood. This will give you the center of the two by tens. Then before you go any further, it's usually easier to paint while it's still lying on the ground. So you will want to create your target at this point. So you'll create your template with whatever you have, whether that's aluminum, cardboard, or anything else. And there are stencils that you can purchase online, but like I said, you can just do these yourself. But I just created a makeshift compass uh, of some sort to basically draw a circle. And since I had the center, all I did was use that centerpiece and drilled holes in a piece of OSB to create a circle. Based on the National Axe Throwing Federation, the first circle, the bullseye, is seven inches in diameter. The next circle is red and is 17 inches in diameter. And the blue, which is the outer circle, is 27 inches in diameter. The two small outer circles on the top left and right corners are called clutches, and they are 39 inches from the bottom of the target and 4.25 inches from the closest edge of the middle two by 10. And they are two and five eighths in diameter. For the clutches, all I did was I ha happened to have a hole saw, which was two and five eighths in diameter. So I drilled a hole through a scrap piece of wood and OSB, and I used that as my template for the clutch. So once you've done that, now we move on to the legs. First, you're going to attach the one two by six on either side of the target that you just created. 
and cut a piece to go along the bottom. Ultimately, we're going to want to center the target at 63 inches from the ground. So that means from the ground to the center of your bullseye is going to be 63 inches. You can also, you're gonna have an extra piece of two by six. I use this and I added an additional piece a little bit lower for stability, but it also created a little bit of a shelf to put the axes or anything else you want to place there. Then you're gonna to want to take one of the two by fours and cut it in half and attach it perpendicular to the bottom of the two by six. This will be the base. And then you will cut the other two by fours on 45 degree angles to create the bracing for the base as you see in the video. And there it is. Uh, obviously easier said than done sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but now you have an ax throwing target that you can put up in your backyard. I would recommend that as you're doing it, that you wet the wood before you're throwing any axes at it because that will help prevent splitting as the axes continuously hit the wood. I'd also recommend making sure the axes are a little bit sharper or at least sharpened to some extent so that they stick better. Um, obviously, if you don't hit the blade when you're throwing it, it's not gonna stick, um, but we had some fun. You might wanna practice some different axes as well. Some are better than others, um, but ultimately if you're throwing an ax at a target in your backyard, we're just gonna have fun and please do it safely. Make sure nobody is around the target when you're throwing your ax at the target, please. Thanks for watching another video here on The Conscious Builder. If you need the dimensions, just check the description below the video. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and stay up to date with all the exciting projects that we have coming up, as well as interviews that we are doing with industry experts.